I want to give you a brief rundown of the network installation and the topology or how it's all wired together uh, here at Slice and show you what the problem is. So to start with, here's our cable modem. It comes in, you know, from the street somehow and it breaks out into uh, a switch right here. That's the power for it. And this Netgear switch uh, goes into the walls right there. And then it disappears all over the house. And then in various locations around the building, we have these uh, R45 jacks uh, that are hardwired through the walls um, back to that breakout point where that one gig switch is. This is one of the few rooms that has actually two network points. Uh, one over here in this corner for this primary edit station. Then we have a B station over here and the cable for that is somewhere back behind that um, curtain. So there's two edit systems in here and we're on the ground floor. Up on the second floor, we have a couple of more systems here. And uh, although full editing doesn't normally happen here, uh, most of the time it's like file management and stuff, but we do on occasion edit on this floor as well. Unlike downstairs, this floor only has one ethernet port. Um, Cat5 comes from the closet downstairs and it goes to this desk where it gets split by a small ethernet switch. Probably not the best installation, but here's a little Netgear switch that um, gives us, uh, it splits out the signal to the two computers on this desk. Then up on the third floor, we have Edit 2. Um, this room has one Ethernet port, uh, which you can see that red cable down in the corner. And uh, on occasion, we'll put a second system back here. This room is also the um, quintessential example of how hard drives have taken over. Uh, you can see a bunch of drives on the side there, and then there's a Thunderbolt 3 drive back there on the floor because of uh, limited cable length. It's also important to remember that in this room we had to set up a small, another one of the uh, small Ethernet switches um, to split that single Ethernet port coming out of the wall to the two separate computers that sometimes live in this room. And then finally in this room there's one more Ethernet port on the wall that this system is plugged into and on occasion we'll put another system right here, usually wireless, just doing office -y type stuff. But the real problem with this whole install is that this all lives on three stories. And there's no simple way to run the cables from the top floor through the kitchen floor all the way down to the ground floor and back into that closet. And frankly, I don't think the closet is really the place where we want to terminate all this stuff. So we have something we have to figure out here, and I'm not exactly sure how to do it.